Hey, Visanta here. In this video, we're gonna look up hidden ability Sigaglyph. I think that's how you say it, right? <laughs> Alright, so hidden ability for Sigaglyph is Tented Lens. And Tented Lens means for non effective moves, uh, the power double. And there are actually two dens one's higher for sword and one's higher for shield. And there's a reason for that because on the sword version, um, for that sword den, it actually has higher rate than this one is 15%, but for the shield one, it doesn't even have a hidden ability. So for the hidden ability for the shield is den 89, which is gigantic mass core of den, which is one right here. Want a purple beam on this? Remember purple beam? It's like 15% out of a five star, and we're gonna fly to the sh sword version, which is a higher rate, which is. 10% for a 4 star and 25% for a 5 star. This one's a little weird because it has two copies. One is a 3 star and a 4 star and the other one's 4 star and a 5 star. But yeah, avoid the, the 3 star ones. This is Gigantamax Hatterene Den. This is a red beam for you sword users out there like me. Uh, let's see, let's, can I, I'm gonna try to dodge through the grass and not get hit by anything. Who knows? Alright. So you want a red beam. Um, I don't think you really need to save unless you get a purple beam. Being too lucky. So I'll just throw a wishing piece in here. It's a red beam. And we're gonna do the time trick. Make sure of offline. And this is the Hatter Hatterene, which is the red version. And the purple beam is a Gigantamax one. But anyways, we're gonna go do the time skip trick. And if you want a purple beam, you would you would press home right at the save. And then you would reset it if it's not a purple beam. But you can check out my other videos for that. Anyways, for the sword, I'm just going to keep doing this until we spawn it. So you quit. Now reset the den. You can farm wasps like this. And you do this pretty much until you get Sigma Glyph. And then hopefully it's a 4 star, 5 star. And then if it doesn't have the ability, just reset. Do a time skip, get another one. And then keep doing it until we get it. Yeah? Alright, so this is the second one I spawn. It's a five star. It's a lens. Oh, damn. Second one, easy. Alright. Schooling. As well, Dynamax. Get the stab as well. I'm probably gonna be first. I'm not using my finger to touch my face, but you know, use the back of my hand. Wait, anyway, be safe out there, everyone. Be safe. Wash your hands. The pandemic happening. We're gonna rock some Pokemon's worlds. Hey. You're. On here floating around. Hey, Magikarp. Togepi. All the terrains, man. Oh my god, Togepi. Can you at least do like a metronome or something? Alright, at least I'll be attacking and then I'll knock out two bars. Easy game, all right. Playing with NPCs right now, offline. If anyone even wanted to do this, to be honest. Raises are super easy now. If you get level one hundred, you. Can oh. We got the shields. Yes. You like it? Go left and right. I won't go left and right on my chair. And you know, playing offline is faster because I can skip animations. So, <laughs> next hit should knock it out, and then we'll just throw a ball and catch it. I'm a host. Just guarantee you can throw Premier Ball like usual. Ok, 
Could do Mystic Fire. Or not. Get the extra stab in there. Boom. Here we go. Hopefully you guys have a nice day and be safe. And you know, keep the social distancing. This, this thing. Ah. Social distance. Keep that in your mind. And you know, just come watch my stream. Cause you know, we're we just in our comfortable own homes. And then we get chillax, socialize via the internet. And I got it. Boom. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Let me know what you guys want to do in the comments down below and anything else you guys want to talk about. And with that, all my socials are down below as well. And I do stream on Twitch. My schedule is on Twitch as well as one of the panels. So with that, later days.